Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be explaining the new movie Medieval which is in theaters now. Now I saw the first ever showing for this at my AMC and it was completely empty. And when I say completely empty, I was the only one in the theater. I'm literally just walking around the theater as the movie's playing. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. At first, this movie didn't really attract me throughout the first like 20 to 30 minutes because it was so confusing to figure out the characters. So for the first 30 to 45 minutes of this film, I just was kind of zoning out a little. I was like, who is who, who is who? But once I connected the dots, and I only was able to connect the dots because I took notes for this video while I was in the theater because I was the only one in there. So it starts off in the 1400s. Henry of Rosenberg sent his men to kill Michael Caine's character, Lord Boros. Now, forgive my pronunciations for this video because these characters' names are very difficult to say. The movie is actually a true story and based off the life of Jan Ziska. He was a Czech national leader and is known as being one of the greatest generals of all time. And this movie, he was honestly a badass. He's played by Ben Foster, who honestly was really great in this role. So basically, Jan Ziska was hired to kidnap the fiance of Lord Rosenberg, who was named Catherine. Now, there will be spoilers in this video, as I will be explaining most of the movie, as well as the ending, so you've been warned. So basically, what you need to know in this movie for it not to be confusing is Jan Ziska and Lord Boras are friends. Once Ziska kidnaps Catherine, he explains to her that Rosenberg, her fiancé, is not this nice guy that she thinks he is. For example, she sees that some people were hung from a tree and some people get killed by rocks, and she thinks that this is not Rosenberg and someone else, but it really is. King Sigismund, who is friends with Rosenberg, hears about the kidnapping and does not like it. He sends one of his strong men, Torak, as well as some other men, to go and kill the nephew as well as capture the brother of Ziska. Once he kidnaps the brother, he uses him as collateral to get Catherine back. Before this, Ziska meets up with the rebels who seem to just be like villagers, common people, and they hate Rosenberg because he's going to take their land. So he works along with the rebels to try and set up a plan to trade Catherine and get his brother and then get Catherine back. Jan Ziska and the rebels totally destroy Torak and his men. Once they escape to a cave, the rebels, Catherine and Ziska think they're safe. But Torak and his remaining men find them. During this fight, Catherine and Ziska are able to escape, but not before he gets stabbed right in the eye. Ziska and Catherine are only able to make it out of this cave by swimming in this underwater pool. Catherine actually saves him from drowning because he's so delirious from what happened to his eye and saves him. It was kind of gross, but there were worms in his eyes and she saved him. She puts bandages on him and he's okay. Ziska in his sleep mentions a girl named Anna and we find out that this was actually one of his loves, I believe. She died a while ago and is no longer around. After a little while, Catherine leaves the cave and instantly is found by Torak's men. Ziska had to leave his armor in the cave before he swam in the water so he didn't have anything and some kids actually helped him and this dude literally went off. He killed one of the men instantly and then basically sliced the neck of another guy and held his head and the other guys ran away. And I must say, Jan Ziska was a freaking badass. This dude was killing people left and right. A few minutes later, one of the kids who found Ziska is being hung. One of the captains of Rosenberg found out that he helped Ziska and starts to hang him in front of his family and Catherine sees this and she does not want this to happen. Although Ziska said not to do this, she runs down and the captain recognizes her and won't hurt her because Rosenberg, it's his fiance. Right after Ziska comes to try and save the day from Catherine, he kills a bunch of men and Catherine has to save him. One of the captains of Rosenberg is about to kill Ziska and Catherine stabs him in the back. Ziska, who obviously likes Catherine at this point, wants to just bring her back to her father so she can be safe. The rebels though, who want to get back at Rosenberg, know that they will get a lot of money if they bring Catherine back to his castle. So when Ziska and Catherine are about to kiss, they beat up Ziska, take Catherine, and leave him. Lord Boris, played by Michael Caine, had a smaller role in this movie and at times, I was a little confused what was happening between him and some of the other kings, but basically all you need to know is he dies. Rosenberg and Sigismund betray him and he is found lying on a hill and he dies. When the rebels arrive at the castle, they are given the money, but when they realize that Boros is gone, they become suspicious and anxious and then there's a massive fight. King Sigismund's men start to kill them from above with arrows and everything and there's this massive brawl. While this is all happening, Ziska's back and he storms the castle, he lets a lion out and all hell breaks loose. Then Ziska and Torak have a 1v1 battle and at this time Rosenberg and Sigismund are watching from above the castle and Catherine's right next to it watching as well. Right before Ziska is about to be killed, Catherine says death brings life which is exactly what Ziska told her early on in the movie. She then jumps off the cliff, hits her back on the mountain and lands in the water and I thought she was dead. 
Ziska then hits Torak over the ledge as well, and they both fall into the water, and he kills Torak in the process. He then finds Catherine, brings her to the water, and she is dying. He gives her a kiss, and she gives him her ring, and she dies. Rosenberg is now pissed at Sigismund and is like, you messed up my whole life. Ziska brings her body back to the rebels and villagers that are his friends. They then have a burial ceremony for her. When the movie is ending on the screen, it said after the death of his brother, Sigismund became king of Bohemia, but the people revolted against him. When Sigismund branded them heretics and orchestrated Europe's crusades against them, Jan Ziska led the vastly outnumbered peasants. Jan Ziska was honestly a badass in this movie, and I thought this movie was really good. It took a while though for me to start to understand it, and if I didn't have these notes that I have next to me right now, I honestly wouldn't have remembered as much, and it would have been tough to remember the characters, but I thought it was a great medieval story, and I am so glad I didn't live during this time. So let me know if you've seen the movie Medieval, what you thought, and let me know what you thought of this video, the explanation videos. I'll be doing more explanation videos just like this one for all movies that are coming out. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your night.